Good morning, Atria family. This is Karina, your executive director. I am hoping to try something new with regards to communication, and I'm hoping that will be successful. I am hoping to have a weekly or bi-weekly message to you to view from your televisions and uh, to be able to provide you with any updates or address any concerns that we have. So bear with me as this is our first video, and I hope that it will be a success. So please give us your feedback and let us know if you like it. I'll just be going through, uh, because this is the first one, I have quite a few items to discuss with you. So I'll just be going item by item and giving you updates and giving you my concerns and my feedback as well. Um, so we'll start with the big one. I sent out a communication this week and we had a typo on it. Uh, I want to confirm that the date for our second vaccine is uh, on February the 19th. So those that had their vaccine first on the 29th, the second one is on February the 19th. And if also, if you're going to get your vaccine for the first time, you need to be there on February 19th as well. Uh, second item is uh, we will no longer have county weekly testing. Uh, the county has reached out to me. They have deemed that we are in a very safe zone. Our last three tests, including the one from last week, have come completely negative. So that's good. Now, let's not let our guard down. We still need to continue to follow the protocols so that we can continue to stay safe and healthy. Thirdly, if you have a pet, we will ask you to please clean up after your pet. Um, the best places for you to walk your pets are outside of the building, on the sides of the building, in the grassy areas. We would really like to limit the times that pets are walked in our courtyards as those are meant for our residents to be able to enjoy um, time outside. Uh, residents must be on time to their meals. That's very important. Because of COVID, we're having to um, do some extra sanitizing in between meals. And so having residents show up to their um, appointments or to be at the dining room late really makes it difficult for our staff. So we hope that you can understand that we truly, truly need you to um, be there on time. Not 10 minutes early, but uh, maybe two or three minutes early would be ideal. Thank you very much. Um, next, I'd like to address the concern of laundry. We have had some issues with folks that are leaving their laundry for very long periods of time in the laundry room. Please remember that this is a shared laundry facility and um, removing your items in a timely manner really helps that process to work more effectively. Um, also, if items are left there for uh, many days, we may be putting together a um, system where we start donating those items that are left behind to the Goodwill. So let's pick up our stuff in a timely manner, please. Um, we also like to remind you that we, because of the cart deliveries, it's very difficult for us to deliver to every room. We are asking for you to limit your beverage orders per meal to one beverage per meal. If you need additional drinks, uh, Chef Albert is always happy to accommodate for that, um, but we'd probably have to have you come down and pick those up uh, at the table that's been located in the lobby for picking up meals. Um, residents are being asked to register only themselves for activities. Uh, we'd like to give opportunities to everyone to be able to participate in activities. So uh, we're asking that each individual sign themselves up for their activities. Uh, as always, no parking in the front, please. You can use the street parking, or if you have a garage space, please use the garage space for your parking. We like to leave parking spots available for our essential workers uh, as needed. We want to ask for your patience. We know that when you come in from uh, outside visit, doctor visits or outside errands, we do need to sign you in and we do need to get your temperature and go through the screening questions. Sometimes there will be a line, but we ask that you be patient and allow us the opportunity to, to go through that protocol. With that said, uh, we are not back to being completely open, so I want to remind residents that they are still required to only be out for two hours at a time. 
Um, so please, please, please keep that in mind. Um, we don't want to have to put people in quarantine, so please uh, limit your outside visits to two hours per time. Um, we do want to remind all residents that it is still required to wear your masks. Please wear your masks anytime you're outside of your apartment. Those are absolutely required and we really need your cooperation on that matter. Um, I think that is all I have for today. I believe I covered everything we needed to cover today. Uh, if you have any suggestions, any feedback about this method of communication, I do welcome it. So thank you again for being part of the Atria family. Um, by talking about these things, we become better and better together. So thank you, everyone. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and so does my staff. So thank you again. Have a good day.